Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Master and that's Zim Tech Guy. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. Today in this quick video, I want to show you how you can edit vertical video. In particular, how to fill up those uh, black bars on the sides uh, for some strange reason. Let's say you did a rookie move and ended up recording vertical video. This is how you can fill it up. So yeah, without further ado, let's um, crank up uh, Premiere Pro. Right, as you see, it's a new project, create a new project. So, um, so I want to create a new timeline. So, but if I use the footage that I have, it won't make sense. So let me just uh, uh, create like an adjustment layer. Uh, to this, it's, uh, I actually need it to be 1920 by 1080. Just uh, set it to the sequence that you would want to be working on. So let me just this, drag it there. I just dragged it there to create a new timeline. Now, if you go to sequence settings, you already see that I have a uh, 1920 by 1080p timeline. So press OK. Right, now we need some footage. Let me see if I can find some. Oh, there's a vertical video that I saw online here. So we can use that. Right. And uh, and this part is saying uh, the sequence. Uh, there's a difference between the the settings for the for the video with the vertical video and obviously the timeline. So here we want to keep existing existing settings. Let's just uh, see. So this is a particular video of this kid dancing that we want to make sure that we um, edit. Let's just remove this part. Yeah. Okay. We could delete. So. Let's just make it five seconds so that we don't get to waste our time. Let's find the razor two. Cut off this particular video. Press V. Click that. Delete that. Right. So there we have the footage. You can see this kid dancing. But uh, there are these black bars here that we want to fill up. Actually, doing this is actually pretty easy. All you need to do is uh, uh, go to the track that is the video yeah just click on it press the alt button or option on your mac then uh, drag it up already you see there's already two sequences of this um if we just disable all these videos you see what i'm saying so that means this one as you can see it's active both are active so what we need to do now is use the bottom video to fill up this space so we'll go to scale if you go to your effect controls go to scale just drag it drag it drag it drag it drag it you can even change the position a bit as you can see now we've already filled up the the whole space on the video but it's not looking nice so for that blurry effect what we need to go and look for is what we call the fast blur so in your effects effects tab there just search for fast blur there it is just drag it to the bottom video as you can see nothing is happening so far uh, we need to make some changes um, in the effect controls panel so blurriness is set to zero so we just want to start blurring so as we do that j just do this according to your preference how you feel like um, your project will come out click this repeat edge pixel so that everything um so that the blurriness is actually properly defined across the whole the whole screen um so let's just go back here and just play that you see that's it actually that's it uh that's all you need so what's left is just to render this video so let's just um export the video export media and uh, stay tuned and I'll show you the final result.